Hi everyone, Jane's Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, this is the very first hair tutorial of 2020. Ah! Coming to you right after January, <laughs> but better late than never. Anyways, I'm so excited to tell you guys that I have launched my own line of premium wigs. That's right, Jane's Mansfield Beauty is bringing you premium lace front wigs. And we're gonna style one today. The topic of today's video is even bigger hair with one single wig. And we're gonna be using from my premium line, the Misty Blonde. Now this is her as she would arrive in Mansfield Waves, hand styled by me, because I care just that much. Right, let's take her off. Ooh, and take out our little paper to help keep the shape. All right, and put her on the head. All right, I'm gonna pin it down. I'll be right back. All right, we are all back. This is the Misty Blonde in my premium line of lace front wigs. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited to tell you guys all about her. She is 250% density. Yes. And she also has permatease and she's 28 inches. And I designed this wig with drag queens in mind. Of course, ladies, you can wear them too, but it is designed to create gigantic drag hair with one single wig. That was my vision with this wig. Now she is a layered 28 inches, which means she is gonna tease out to even bigger heights with just one single wig. So today we're gonna tease her out and show you what this girl is capable of and also what you can do with your own wigs if you wanna create gigantic big hair with one single wig. And we're gonna do things a little bit differently today. I'm gonna tease a little bit for you on camera and then we're gonna tease the rest off so that we can focus more on the smoothing portion because I noticed a lot of you have been asking a lot of questions about how to smooth out a wig. Well, you're in luck. I'm here for you, okay? We're gonna do a deep dive on smoothing and sculpting when it comes to styling out your wigs. Let's get started and start teasing her out. And just a quick refresher, taking small sections at a time. Now this is already perma-teased, so you can actually wear it without having to tease it out that much. Just, you know, go in with a fork and just pull up the teasing and you're ready to go. But we're queens and we want big hair. So if anything, it's just gonna act as an extra cushion for us. More cushion for the pushing, as they say. All right, you guys kind of get what I'm doing here. I'm gonna do the rest of the teasing off camera and we'll come back and we are going to do some more sculpting <laughs> and smoothing. She's all teased out, now she's done. Thanks for watching everyone. Click here and watch my live stream. Just kidding. All right, we are back. This is her all teased out. I teased every last inch of her. And girl, if I look sweaty, it's because I am. There's a lot of goddamn hair in this wig. Good Lord. I did a faux hairline on this right now. And why I did this? Because adding all this extra protection here in the roots is gonna create like a nice support on top of the permatease. So it's gonna create like an extra, extra build of wall to make it go all the way up and straight. So I'm using my teasing brush and normally you'd use like a smoothing brush, but since I'm doing the rooted hairline, I'm pushing it back like this and we're gonna smooth later. Cause right now I'm just gonna test it and see how much support's actually here. As I look, she looks like she's pretty good. Maybe a little bit. And you just use the ends of it and push down hair. And you can sort of see it start to gather right here at the root. You want the teasing to build up from like the root all the way upward to about here. And don't neglect your sideburn areas either. I tend to forget those sometimes. Don't, just pushing down that teasing. We are creating a nice wall of hair that we're gonna smooth out. All right, it looks like our teasing wall is built. Let's start smoothing out the front section here. We're gonna use a combination of two brushes. We're gonna use our teasing brush and our smoothing brush, as well as hairspray and heat. And notice my brush is angled going upward, not back. Up, not back. You can go up, but as soon as you get to here where all the air is, you can let it flick back. But you don't want it to be pushing back, otherwise you're gonna push down the teasing. All right, now for the next phase, we're gonna go through with heat now. Using our smoothing brush, you're gonna spray it with hairspray from a distance, smooth upward, and use the heat. And what's important here is to make sure you don't have a whole lot of kinks and tangles here at the ends. We're just gonna move on to our next section and only worry about here from the base going upward to about here. This is all we're worried about. The ends we'll work on later. All right, the sideburn areas are especially important because they can tend to look a little ugly if you don't pay attention to them. Get a grip, just make sure that is all together. 
And this is the time consuming part I was telling you about. Smoothing always takes forever. Sometimes I could be smoothing a week for hours. And you don't feel comfortable using a brush, you can use your hands as well. That also works. You know, nature's brush. All right, I had this side all spooved out. I'm gonna do this other side off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. Okay, now that I have the support here built, we're gonna start untangling the ends and start our smooth out process. Now I'm going in with my brush and just lightly untangling the ends because we're gonna start sculpting it and doing all that stuff later. I just wanna make sure we have nice untangled hair to work with because if there's any kind of kinks in the hair whatsoever, it's gonna throw you off immediately. Now I know I have this hair separating some and it's going to go like parting that way and then going backwards to get more volume. So what I want to do here is slowly graze the top with a smoothing brush and just work all that stuff down. Now for those of you who don't know, this wig is actually named after a character that I made a doll of with one of Pearl's Madonna dolls, the Misty character. I used to draw her in middle school. And I figured since this wig is like the wig of my dreams, I wanted to name it after like, you know, a character from my fantasies. So she's named the Misty. And if you're interested in seeing that Vladonna video, I'll link it down below for you. We also have a black variant called Candace, and she's named after a superhero character I actually drew in middle school, the fabulous Candace Cascade, the third wave feminist superhero. All right, now we're just working our way through the bottom as well. All right, and that's creating a nice wave there. Now what you can do, I actually learned this from Carl Brown from taking one of his wig classes, which is something I feel like I should have known already, but sometimes things just click that way. I take my comb, rat tail comb, spray it just a tiny bit, and we slowly guide our comb through it and work it through, and that's how you're gonna get the waves to go the way you want it to. Essentially, this is what we're doing for the back. It's very, very simple. It's just repetitive and tedious. So I'm going to do most of this off camera and I will be right back. <laughs> all right, we are back. I got the back all smoothed out. Now we're going to start smoothing out the front. I already started here on this side. We're going to do this side right now on camera so you have an idea of what I'm trying to achieve here. And we also still have to do lots and lots more smoothing. I'm going to separate this section here, bang, and that's going to live on its own right here for now. And we're going to start molding the hair the way we want it to go. I'm working with the waves that I put into the wig, the Mansfield waves. So I'm going to look for the waves and try and bring those out. But we need the hair to be untangled at the ends for this to work. So just focus on those ends and you'll see the curls start to bounce back. Like you see them right here, they're bouncing back. I see it kind of forming a wave right here, kind of doing a swirly dip there and swirling inward here. So we're going to work with that. See, I'm only using the brush and lightly grazing the ends to get the ends untangled. That's all I'm doing here. Okay, now it's starting to look a certain way. I'm gonna switch to a comb now and start grazing the top, start working with those waves and see where they wanna go. See, they're kind of angling here. We're gonna join those into an angle and encourage that. Whatever you feel like you need to do, there's really not a wrong answer here. And this is also where having a tightly wound roller really like benefits you because if your hair was rolled right, you're not gonna have any problems with your final styling. If the hair rollers were too loose, then it's gonna show in your final product and you'll have like waves that are inconsistent. This is why having even rollers is such an important thing. All right, now we're starting the fringe. I'm gonna get the kinks and tangles out of those ends and we're gonna start molding it. And this can also be like an infuriating part when it comes to styling the hair because sometimes it just won't do what you want it to. Like in this case, it's a little too flimsy. So I'm just going to separate some sections. You'll live here now. That's where you're going to live. I'm going to re-tease it some. And this is the part that can take you hours getting it to lay the way you want it to. All right, so I have it flipped like that after smoothing it and brushing it. Now we're going to open it up and spread it out. 
Yes, she has given us that Dolly Parton Porter Wagner years. Okay, girl, we have been smoothing now for the better part of an hour and it's gonna take a lot longer than that. But I'm gonna show you a little trick here. Now, some of you may have some problems when it comes to like these internal areas here where you have your bangs and like your bubble flips and everything like that. So what I do is I take a grip and I pull it up with the end of a brush or a comb. You can use your fingers if you've got nice delicate fingers. I'm just poking it up to get the hair going one direction and smooth. And like I said before, it's just a matter of going through with your fork and your comb and smoothing out sections and pulling volume up until you get it to the height you want. And it's always gonna be these sections here at the top that are gonna be the most like tedious and will give you the most trouble. So you just gotta take your time with it. Oh, she's just about there. I just gotta trim whatever strays I see. All right, and that is how you smooth. It's just hours and hours and hours of doing that, clipping and smoothing and spraying and pulling stuff, teasing. But that's how gorgeous she can look with lots of lots of time and patience. Now I'm gonna try her on and I'll be right <laughs> back. Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my God, I love it. Look at y'all, Dolly Parton's arrived. Oh my goodness, I love this gigantic Porter Wagner hairstyle. And if you saw the old stuff of Dolly Parton, she'd have like this big, gigantic, obvious wig on and like her little measly bangs combed up front to hide the hairline. <laughs> I am obsessed. This is again the Misty wig off James Mansfield Beauty, my premium wigs. We have it in Platinum Blonde, Misty, or in Jet Black, the canvas. Available at jamesmansfieldbeauty.com. Shameless plug. <laughs> And of course, this wig is just missing one more thing. The Jade Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give her a spritz. Ah, now my wig smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully we have Manscaped. Use my code Mansfield, just Mansfield, and save 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. And of course, it's time for a moment, a Ben moment. Let me just read off some of the wonderful folks who tip me via Venmo. I would like to thank Bridget, Enzo, and Tina. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. Your guys' support helps keep this channel running. And one final plug, you guys. You know if you want to save 30% off your purchase, go to GerardCosmetics.com and use the code JAMES, J-A-Y-M-E-S. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I do mean comment. I love reading your guys' comments. And please subscribe. We're so close to 100K, you guys. I can taste it. I want that plaque. I'm going to put a wig on it. And until next time, bye. Click here and watch my wig styling live stream. Or watch my latest episode of Wig Wars. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make you do a cheerleading routine after you injured your back. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. Anyway, just click it.